Welcome back, beautiful beings. All right, we're gonna do another Halloween pocket file. And I wanted to show you what I did here. This is a piece of scrap, okay? And all I did was take my scissors. I don't quite remember how I did it. I think I flipped it this way. Yeah, I did. And I cut this, let's get this out of the way so you see. I cut this somehow like this, okay? With these scissors. Better product, office products. And I cut it and then I shaped it the way I wanted it. Okay? And then I painted it because it's going to be a little tuck for my pictures. Okay? And I only paint it, it makes the cardstock more stable. Okay? So it don't rip. Okay? Then I took some ribbon from Joann's. Did a video on my Joann's haul, okay? And sell and clearance, place and time, right? And then I took a lighter to curve it, as you can see there, so it fit on here like this, okay? But that piece needs curved, so I left that to show you. We're just gonna curve that in that then I'm gonna sew it down onto that piece and that's gonna be a little tuck okay but I wanted to show you what I did here I took the wire out because it's wire so I'm just gonna take the wire out and again you can save the wire for something else and I get another piece same thing, piece of scrap, put paint around it, shaped it. This one might have been the one I did. Yeah, like right here, I used these scissors and I cut it there and then I cut in so I got a curve and cut that one piece off. Okay, we're gonna take the lighter, curve it in. Make sure you don't start a fire. Both ends, and that helps it so it don't fray too. And then I'm gonna put it on this notch, okay? Just so I have another tuck. I'm gonna sew the top, and I'm gonna sew the bottom on. And I might even curve that in more. That's not curved in enough. If I can get it to curve in. So don't touch it because it's hot, and it will burn you. Give it a minute to cool off. And I'm gonna sew that on there. And I'm gonna sew this on here. And then I got this. This is gonna be a little pocket, but as you can see, it's lace. So I took the lighter and I went away around it so it won't fray. And I'm gonna glue that to there. After I sew the other two pieces, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to take some glue and glue it on here. And that's just to make it so the lace don't fray more. So it'll work with me. So the lace don't fray more and rip. this was was white white piece and I didn't have any more black scrap so I just painted some white scrap and then we're gonna flip this up <coughs> it'll stay let's put this on there so it'll stay then we're gonna put some glue on our scrap piece that I painted black or just stay one lace Okay. And we're going to flip that down on it. But make sure you cover it all the way. And then it's gone. Okay, and I covered all the black 
with lace. Okay. Let me get these two sewed and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beans. So this one, all I did was sew the top, okay? I sewed that together and I kept the thread line. Now I'm gonna glow, glow. <laughs> I'm gonna glue some creepy cloth behind this, of course, because the spiders and their webs and it looks like webs. I don't want that one there. Like there. And down. And it's pulled apart. It's pulled apart a little bit. There. Make sure it's in the glue. And then I'm going to cut some off. But you know what? I should have glued it on the top and wrapped it around. That's all right. I just want to make sure none of this is going to come off. So let's check. See that piece is. So we're going to stick it right in there. Just do it really gentle. Let's get the loose ones. There's another one. one down there. And the other one go. Put that down there. And then I'm going to stitch across this too. But I'm going to stitch that first and then I'm going to take a piece and put it across. Okay? But now I kind of want to put some on the outside and wrap it around because it seemed like a good idea, but I have to sew it. Hang on. Okay, that's sewed. I sewed the top and the bottom, and I got this ribbon at Joann's. I showed it to you in my Joann Halloween haul video on that. Now. I don't know. Maybe I should glue it down. I kind of like it up. I don't know. I'm going to put some glue alongside here. But now I'm going to need more creepy cloth, I think. Because I just want it on the edge. Like, you know, spider web. Like a spider web. Going up on the spiders. And there we go. All right. And this is my spider piece for one of our pocket flaps. Okay. When my battery charges, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. I wanted to show you the, the print. This art is from Spooky Halloween, Crafty as Ever. So if you look that up, you should find the foots, the cardstock that comes in this print. Okay, the background. And this one is the Navage Patch Witches. Okay. So I wanted to tell you that. And you can go to her website, buy her a cup of coffee or whatever, and print them out. Okay. Navage Patch Witches. And this is Scoopy, Spooky Halloween Crafty as Ever. I forgot to show you that and tell you that. Okay, beautiful beings. I made this in this video, but when I went to sew something, I thought I'd turn the camera off, okay? But I didn't. It was on. So when I came back, I turned it off, and then I showed you how to make these. So I made a separate video. You can go look up on how to make these. 
Okay? I'll put it in the I'll put it in the description. But we're gonna make this corner pocket up here, so we're gonna go there and there. Okay? So I'm gonna cross the top. If the glue will work with me. not on the fold right there so I can move that over more because it folds way over there okay so it's good right there I'm kind of frustrated because I keep uploading videos what I was doing before I was uploading video for adults right on my YouTube channel and then I upload it to kids Okay. Well, they keep giving me copyright strikes. So I quit doing it. So I just uploaded one, the latest one, for my channel, you know, for the adults. And I didn't get a copyright strike. So I uploaded the kids. And I got a copyright strike. And then, so I uploaded one by itself, and then I uploaded the other one. After that one was uploaded, and they still gave me a copyright strike on it, and the music's in there and everything. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know what's going on, and it's really frustrating. All right, sorry, I had to vent. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna sew this down here and up here. It's just so frustrating because I want to get all these Halloween ones done, and I know I'm gonna. If I go on my other iPad, it's gonna be at least an hour to go through all the copyright strikes and appeal them and, you know, ask them why they did it because it's all my my footage. I don't understand why they keep giving them to me. It's really frustrating. All right, sorry, enough of that. All right, so it's not on the bend, okay? This one's a snake. The other one was an hourglass. And it's going to be a pocket to tuck in here, and this one's going to be a pocket to tuck up in. Okay, now we got a spider one, and we're just going to do the top and the bottom on that. So, this will be for little photos. I don't even know how that sequence got in there. It's probably when I was making the pockets. Now it's stuck to me. Anyway, now it's stuck to me. I didn't even put them on the pockets. I was going to, but I forgot. There's only two of them. They're in my scrap bin. Right. So we're going to put this right up in the corner. Right here. Like that. Check it and make sure it's straight and it's not just did the top and bottom on that one. Okay, now, break it down, we're gonna do some, sorry, we're gonna do some words. I inked these up, I just put yellow around them from Chrome, Chrome Yellow from Archival Ink. And these are from Artfully, artfully mussing, okay? You can go to our website and you can get these. They're just sayings. They come in a big strip, a long strip, and they're doubled, okay? To get these, buy your cup of coffee. Okay, now we're gonna glue these down, but I wanna make sure I put the bottom one on first so I know it's centered and it's gonna go with everything else. And it says, make sure I focus, when the world is wrapped in slumber, if you peek between the curtains and the moon is shining high, you'll see the witches riding by. 
Okay. And when this is dry, I'll give you a full view and then I'll post it. And then I'll upload it. Hopefully without a copyright strike. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna make a minor adjustment right here. I wanna add some creepy cloth to this because I think it needs it. that side at the same time. So I'm going to add some creepy cloth there. And then down here, this needs glued down. Just a corner of it. So that's what we're going to do. It's clear anyway, but okay. And then I'll show you the full Halloween pocket. Okay, beautiful beings. I don't know if I'm rushing or what, but I'm not having a very good time with things. <laughs> All right, I showed you how to make this. Okay. All I did is I glued that down first, those black strips. I glued it there, and then I glued it up here. Okay. And then I went and sewed him down. That's all I did was sew him down over top of it and half of it, okay? So when I did that, I must have kept the camera on again. And, you know, I come back and thought it was off and I turned it on to show you how to glue this down, the lace, and then glue him, or how I sewed him down or something, I don't know. But anyway, that footage is gone. I don't even know if I got the footage of the skeleton. <laughs> I think I got the footage of the skeleton. If not, here it is. I just glued the top and glued the bottom for a tuck, okay? Sorry. You know how we have off days, but that's how that got down, okay? Okay, beautiful beings. Just want to show you. See these little corner ones? I'm doing this with one hand, so <laughs> these little corner ones will hold even a huge picture. Okay. Here's the final reveal. I'm just showing you what size pictures it will hold. It will hold all kinds of size pictures in it. Pockets. Okay. And you can probably fit two or three in each pocket. Okay. So we'll start at the top. There's our spider, one glued from here to here. Now just glued here and glued here. Now we got this up in the corner pocket, another side pocket, skeletons, hourglass, corner pocket, and our little skeleton in the doorway, the lace in the background that I thought matched the fencing very well. Then our snake one, another quarter pocket, and our saying, when the world is wrapped in slumber, if you peep between the curtains and the moon is chilling high, you'll see witches riding by. Okay? Okay, and I want to show you that this was the cover. Now I gotta do the middle. But that's the cover, the outside of the Halloween pocket file. And now we got I have to figure out what we're doing in the middle. Alright. There you go. And have a wonderful Halloween. <laughs>